Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got my best of skincare and anti-aging for 2020. It's a roundup of an entire year of trying new skincare, trying new gadgets, trying new in-office procedures, and reporting back to you on what I liked the best from the entire year. So rather than go through every single product that I use and love, because you know there are a lot of them, I do think it does take a village to anti-age your face. I don't change products a lot year in and year out. I tend to stick to the same things that have been working for me for the entire eight years since I started doing skincare. I kind of like this video to be the best of the new. Otherwise, I'm just kind of rehashing my skincare routine over again, which I actually have to do for you guys. I haven't done a skincare routine update since I think the summer. I had a big spring one that I had a summer update. I haven't updated it since. So I'm due to do a skincare routine in January. I will definitely get on that as soon as we have passed the holidays. If you want to see my entire skincare routine, which literally has not changed much since the last time I did one. I'll put the link to my skincare routine right up here so you can see that. I'm not going to mention every product. The things that I use in my skincare every single day are my holy grail products. Those are the things that I think have done the most for my skin. Probably the one that I think has done the absolute most for my skin is my Curology because this is prescription anti-aging skincare. It's got prescription strength tretinoin in it and that is really the thing that is going to turn back the hands of time on your skin way more than any over-the-counter product can. I talk about this in all my skincare videos so you can see See more in-depth information on this and why I use it and how I use it in my skincare routine up there. Another feature is like my Timeless Vitamin C Serum. This is not changing. My Timeless Matrixel, my Timeless CoQ10, not changing. A CeraVe PM, not changing. My Holy Grail Sunscreen, the same. So I'll list them all out in the info box below the video if you want to do some quick and easy shopping. But the best way to find out everything about my skincare routine is to watch the skincare video. So in today's video, I was going to more talk about new products that I discovered, things that were just new for 2020. I found a new vitamin C serum that I really, really love a lot. This is the Dr. Brenner C Serum. It's got vitamin E and ferulic acid and hyaluronic acid. This is a 20% uh, vitamin C serum, so it's very comparable to my Timeless vitamin C serum. I do prefer the Timeless. This is still my holy grail. This is much more watery. I like the airless pump. But for those of you who are in another country, maybe you can't get the Timeless, you've tried the Timeless, you don't like something about it, whatever, this is a really nice option. Ascorbic acid is my favorite form of vitamin C. I don't use the esters. I don't think they're worth your time or money. I don't think there's any proof that they do anything inside your skin, but ascorbic acid does oxidize over time and turn brown. Well, I have had this for, I don't know, about nine months now, and it is the least brown of any vitamin C serum I have ever tried after that amount of time. This one is a little bit thicker, a little bit more viscous. It doesn't absorb quite as quickly as the Timeless. It does leave a little bit more of a feeling on the surface of my skin. Mm, but you know it's real ascorbic acid because it smells like hot dogs. <laughs> or hot dog water is how some people describe it. And that's just the smell of vitamin C. If you've ever gotten one and you're like, ooh, is this off? Nope, that's the smell of ascorbic acid. That's how you know it's the real thing and it has ascorbic acid in it. This is formula-wise the closest formula to the SkinCeutical CE Ferulic. That is $168 an ounce, ingredient for ingredient. It is virtually the same. I picked this up on Amazon for about 20 bucks. This is $25 and I have a $5 off discount code on that. There's a link in the info box that you can use to get that. Moving on, I always use the Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream, the fragrance free version. It's in the red jar with the silver cap. That one has such fantastic ingredients. It's got niacinamide, it's got a peptide, and it has hyaluronic acid. But I switched this year to the Olay Regenerist. <laughs> 
night recovery cream in the lavender jar with the silver cap. Very similar product, same product line as the uh, micro sculpting cream. This one has green tea. I love having green tea in my skincare. It's another antioxidant, so it's really great for your skin. Niacinamide that's in here is also an antioxidant, does so many good things for your skin, helps to brighten, helps to reduce the size of your pores, helps to reduce your wrinkles. So this is a fantastic cream and I just switched from the red jar to the lavender because it added one extra ingredient, but it feels the same and I love this cream, have been using it all year. Next up are two retinaldehyde serums that came out this year. The first one that came out was from Maylove. Uh, Maylove also makes a really good vitamin C serum. I'll link that one below as well. It's called the Glow Maker. It is awesome. So this is the Maylove Moonlight Retinal Super Serum and then the other one is the My Shell Renew Remarkable Retinal Serum. Now the reason I'm saying it retinal instead of retinol is because it's a little bit different. So there are different versions of retinoids on the market. The most effective, the strongest one, the best one that is actually going to do a lot for your skin is prescription tretinoin. That is retinoic acid. That's where I that's what I get in my curology. That's what you get in prescription retin-A. Then the next step down from that is an ingredient called retinaldehyde that they abbreviate to retinal. So these two contain retinaldehyde. That is the next closest thing to tretinoin. But the reason that it's not as good as that is because it has to go through a conversion process inside your skin to be converted into retinoic acid. And no one really knows how much of that conversion process goes on. We do know that some of it does go on, but that's why these will never be as effective as prescription tretinoin, okay? But the difference is that every step that you get away from prescription tretinoin, it gets less irritating. So that stuff can be pretty irritating. You gotta take it slow. You gotta be careful with it. Um, these guys, I personally have never experienced any irritation with either of these products and I love them both. And a lot of people when I talked about these last time asked me why I use both of these on my face. I don't. I use this one on my face and I use these on my neck. My neck is just very, very sensitive to retinoids and I can't use my prescription tretinoin on my neck. I went in too hard at first with a different retinoid and I got a huge irritation reaction on my neck and ever since then my neck is just not having it. It is just not having it. It's so sad because I want the same anti-aging on my neck as you know, on my face, but retinaldehyde itself is a really yellow ingredient. So look at the color of that baby, but it doesn't turn your skin yellow or anything. So that's what that one looks like. Oh, sorry. And I have swatches on that hand too. These two look virtually identical. They smell the same. They look the same. They rub in the same. I can't really find much of a difference between them. So the retinaldehyde serum that I was using before was $70 an ounce. And these guys are much, much less than that. I think this one's like 35. I think this one's like 25 or 30, so much better price point. This one unfortunately is sold out until February, so you can't even get this one. So definitely try the MyShell if you want to try a retinal or retinaldehyde serum. All right, so moving on, the next most important ingredient in anti-aging is sunscreen. I know you guys don't glaze over at this point. I know you've heard it a gajillion times, but it is true for a reason. The sun's rays cause 90% of the visible aging on your skin, so you've got to protect your skin from that. So there was some good news in sunscreen this year. Of course, I did my annual sunscreen roundup video where I tested sunscreens. I didn't find anything that I liked better than my Holy Grail sunscreen. Just to show you that, that is my Elta MD UV Elements SPF 44 sunscreen. It's tinted, it's beautiful, it looks great on the skin. It's almost primer like. You can use it under makeup. You can use it without makeup. It's just such a wonderful sunscreen. I love it. It's not going to be the exact right tint for everybody, so I tend to mix it with other all mineral sunscreens to get the tint to be just right. But a new one that I discovered this year in my uh, sunscreen testing video was the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen. This is an SPF 30 and it's also tinted. The tint on this one I'd say would be for light to medium skin tones. That's about the same with the 
tint on the Elta MD. Like most CeraVe products, this has ceramides in it, niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. It's super hydrating. On me, this leaves kind of a shiny finish, so it's not the perfect sunscreen for me. But I have a friend with really dry skin and she loves it. She says it's not shiny on her skin and it looks great on her and it's her new everyday sunscreen and it's at a great drugstore price so you can use it every single day because that's really the key to using sunscreen is to find one that you like enough to use every day you can't wait to put it on and then your skin will just look so so much better going forward so that was a good find this year my holy grail other sunscreen the australian gold spf 50 tinted botanical face lotion which used to only come in one color that was kind of pale and cool. It re-released in three different shades. So I used to use the original color, which was too light for me. Now I actually get this shade, which is the medium to tan shade. And I keep this on hand for mixing with my other sunscreens that are too pale for me. And then I come out perfect. So this is another great sunscreen. This one can be a little bit on the drying side. So I don't recommend this one for dry skin people. The other two, the CeraVe and the Elta MD are definitely great for people with dry skin because they're very hydrating. So I just wanted to show you the uh, color swatches on these three. So this one over here is the CeraVe. This one is the Elta MD. This one is the Australian Gold. Anyway, I like to have a sunscreen wardrobe, which, you know, if you're like me and you become a sunscreen convert, and I was so happy to hear over the years that a lot of you have really become dedicated to your sunscreen. And, you know, you've told me what I already know, which is that it's really made the difference in your skin. So I am so happy about that. All right, I found a new eye mask that I really like this year. It's from Derma E. It's their Vitamin C Bright Eyes hydrogel patches. So this I had in a dupes video and this was a dupe for a much, much more expensive eye patch, but it was so much better because the ingredients in these were a you know, far cry better than the ingredients in the high-end patch. So these were not expensive and they are just these really awesome little gel patches. You kind of get them out with this little spoon here and lay them underneath your eye. But these have niacinamide in them. They do have a vitamin C ester, which I'm not that into, but the other ingredients are so good that I don't mind that they have the vitamin C ester. So I keep these in my mini fridge and then when I have like eye puffiness in the morning, I just slap a couple of these on and rest for a few minutes and I really like this product. Derma E had a lot of good surprises for me this year, including this um, eczema relief cream. This is a new product of theirs that I just discovered a few weeks ago and I am loving it. I always have, as I mentioned before, that irritation on my neck and even like necklaces and you know tops irritate it. You can see it's a little pink right now. This has taken the place of my other neck irritation cream and I love this so much more. I was using the La Roche-Posay Cicoplast B5 Balm, which is really good, but it's super greasy, so I couldn't use it during the day. So I use this one day and night, and it is so good. It has keep, kept my neck so calm. 2020 brought me back to Revitalash. I had stopped using Revitalash and switched to New Lash in 2019, I guess. And by the start of 2020, I was like, where are my eyelashes? They are completely gone. So I quickly went back to my Revitalash and bam, my lashes grew in again. So sticking with this going forward, I'm not gonna be jumping around anymore. This is the one, this one makes my lashes grow so long and so thick and so much better. I mean, I just have mascara on and my lashes always look so great. So that is a keeper for 2020, not necessarily new, but I did switch away from it and now I'm back to it. That was all the new stuff in skincare. Um, definitely everything that I use in my skincare is best of every single year, but I didn't want to bore you by going over the same things over and over and over again that you can just see in my skincare routine. I just did a video listing my top five Holy Grail skincare products, so I'll link that up here as well if you want to check that out to see what the Holy Grails are. All right, so now let's switch over to gadgets because I did try a few gadgets this year. Earlier in the spring, I tried a new gadget. It is my Eco Face Red 
LED and infrared light mask and this uses LED red light and infrared light to anti-age your face. So you wear this for 20 minutes every other day or 10 minutes every day and it is a amazing what this does for your skin like you can get LED treatments at your dermatologist's office but you know you have to go to the office to sit there for 10 minutes like every single day who has time for that who has the money for that so being able to do it at home is so awesome and I just love this like I wake up in the morning I'm not quite ready to get up I pop the mask on I put on the timer for 10 minutes and it glows red and it gives me a nice LED red light bath while I shut my eyes and go back to sleep. And I love that about it, but I wasn't really expecting much as far as results from it, but I of course took before pictures and took after pictures and oh my gosh, was I amazed with the difference in my skin. Like the whole time I was using it, I felt like I could already see a difference in my pores. I felt like my pores were reduced. I felt like my ripply skin was reduced. But when I looked at the after pictures, I didn't really see that much of that. But I gotta say, now that I've been using it for a while longer, I do think that they are reduced a little bit. But the biggest difference was in my crow's feet. I couldn't believe the difference in my crow's feet. Like it actually reduced the size of my wrinkles. The other thing it's done is it's reduced my age spots. Like I have a big age spot, no, on the driver's side. I have a big age spot over here and it has faded over the six months that I've been using this. And my skin overall, I think is much more even toned. I started getting so many comments compliments from you guys on my skin whenever I would start a video with no makeup you guys were like what is going on with your skin it looks so good and this was really the one thing that changed this year because I didn't really try that many gadgets like on my face this was pretty much the only new gadget that I tried all year I didn't go to the office and have any new procedures this year because I was afraid of getting COVID. So this is literally the only thing that changed during the course of the year that would have made such a difference. So I love this. I think it's the best. But a lot of people have been asking me about this mask, which is the Dr. Dennis Gross LED mask. And it's very similar to this one. It just is a lot cooler looking. It fits your face a lot better. So since people were asking me about this, I picked it up in the Sephora sale and thought I would give it a try. So I've been using this one for a little bit under a month now. And I like this one. This one only does a three minute cycle. So you're supposed to use it for three minutes a day. And I got to say this one is a lot more comfortable to wear. It uses the same red light and infrared light as the eco face mask at the same frequency and i'm not sure that three minutes of a day is really enough with this like when you look at the studies it's all 10 minutes or 20 minutes i don't know where they got the three minutes but it's definitely shorter so you have less time and you have more money to spend then this is a really good option i mean it is cool looking mask this one also has blue light and then you can combine them to make purple the blue is for fighting acne so if you also have adult acne then this one might be a better bet for you or if you want to share it with a um, teenage child who has acne you can use it for the red and they can use it for the blue and it can work out for everybody and then another gadget that I tried this year but I didn't use it on my face and I was amazed at this I just put this video up I think last week um, and it is the Kenzie IPL hair removal device I was interested in trying it because I still have enough leg fur and enough armpit fur that I am so sick of shaving. I didn't want to shave anymore. Well, what I didn't realize was that since it's IPL, it was also getting rid of my age spots all over my body. The way I used it to test it was I used it on one leg only. And it wasn't until I was looking at the after pictures that I noticed that all of my age spots on the leg I had used it on were like either completely gone or faded significantly. Now I'm using it everywhere. I'm using it on my arms, <laughs> I'm using it in my armpits, I'm using it on my other leg. I am trying to de-spot myself all over and I am so happy with this product. So I'll put a link to this in the info box as well. I know a ton of you guys ordered it from the video that I did dedicated to this. I'll link the video right up here so you can check out the whole thing, see all the before and after pictures. This was an amazing game changer this year. What I didn't mention in that video, people had a couple of questions. Number one was, can you use it on your face for age spots? The answer is yes, you can definitely 
definitely use it on your face. I would be careful using it on your face. I would definitely start on the lowest power setting and do a patch test. The other really common question that people asked regarding hair was, would it work on like your peach fuzz? The answer is no. It needs to have something dark for the light to concentrate on. So it works best on darker hair on lighter skin. The last gadget that I tried this year, and this is right at the end of the year, I haven't even done a video on it yet is the Foreo Bear. This is Foreo's new entry into microcurrent. So you guys know that for years I've been using the New Face. This is a microcurrent device and I love the New Face. I love what it does for my skin. It gives me like the tiniest, ever so slightest little like lift, okay, and kind of smooths things out and just makes my skin glow from like within. I, I love this. So this is the Foreo Bear Mini. I have had nothing but trouble with this little guy since I got it. I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't get it to sync up with the app. It has been the biggest pain in the butt. <laughs> So I can't really recommend this over New Face. Definitely like, like the New Face better than this little guy. And where I want to do a comparison against this, I think doing the mini of this against the full size of this, not necessarily fair. So I bought the Bear. It arrived two days ago. I haven't charged it up or used it yet. So there will be a Foreo versus New Face video coming up in the near future. And then the last thing I always like to talk about in this video every year is in-office procedures, because you guys know that I love certain in-office procedures. I don't go in for all of them. Anything that I do, I make a video on it and I put it out there for you guys to see so you can decide if it's something that you want to do. The only thing that I had done was a little bit of lip filler. I had that done early on in the year, I think in early February. Um, and I had been talking about getting that done for three or four years by the time I finally went in. And it was mainly because I wanted the little vertical lip wrinkles puffed out a little bit. I didn't want a big trout pout. I didn't want not my lips on my face. I still wanted to look like me. I just wanted to puff those wrinkles out a little bit. So I got, I believe it was three quarters of a syringe between my upper and lower lips. Maybe it was a full syringe, but I know we had some leftover. Anyway, um, I loved it. I thought it came out really great, really natural looking. Uh, the first night they really hurt and I could barely eat, but by the next day they felt fine. They were huge the first day. So this is what they settled into. Um, I am coming up on a year with them. I am not in a huge rush to get it redone because I think it's still in there and looking good, so it's fine. But yeah, that's something that I would have done again. And then the only other thing I had done was I had Botox done twice, but of course being a germaphobe, I had an appointment for uh, Morpheus 8 on my neck. This is a micro needling with um, radio frequency treatment that's supposed to be really great for wrinkles and I wanted to have that done. I had an appointment set up for March but it was right when everything was shutting down and they called and canceled. I'm hoping to have it done. <laughs> 2021 and then there will be a video on it for you guys all right so that wraps up another year in anti-aging we are moving forward i'm testing the foreo bear i'm testing this face mask i actually have another led face mask that i'm trying against those two so i'll have a video comparing three different face masks hopefully i'll get the morpheus 8 done there are some new skincare brands coming out that i want to try if there's any new skincare brand that you guys are interested in that you want me to test definitely leave me a comment below this video. Let me know what gadgets you're interested in. That is it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for watching. I thank you so much for being here for another year. If you are an old timey viewer who's been with me since the beginning, thanks for sticking with me all these years. If you're new here this year, thank you so much for joining our hot and flashy tribe. Okay, everybody have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.